So the first item and details on your screen for the charity shop that I picked it up in, in case you want to check it out if you happen to be in Swindon, is this one. So this is a nice uh, Nestle Smarties vintage mug. Um, I saw this, they had a really interesting selection of mugs and I picked this one out. Um, it's a very nice one, it would be a great one to collect. Um, as you can see, it was only a pound. Uh, maybe you have this Smarties mug originally from when it was released. I'm guessing it came with an Easter egg. I haven't managed to find the exact date yet. Um, let me know in the comments if you know it yourself. But um, yeah, I haven't yet managed to find the exact date yet. I'm going to keep looking for that. But it was a pound. It's in really good condition. It doesn't look like anyone's had a cup of tea out of it. So yeah, I'm actually going to resell this one. Um, I've looked on eBay and they tend to go for around the five to eight pound mark so make a little bit of money on that um yeah postage isn't too much or something like that either so that's the first item i thought that was nice a nice little smarty vintage mug i'm just going to put that outside because i don't want to smash it before i've sold it <laughs> now the next item in the charity shop you now see on your screen also in swindon as you can see it's two pound fifty it says now £2.50. I don't know if they were trying to charge more before. Now, this is an interesting one. So as you can see, it's Super Mario Trading Card. Now you can hopefully see Super Mario Trading Card Connection from Panini. Um, I featured one of these before on the video. Um, it's been taped back up. So, and I can tell from filling around, it doesn't feel like it's got all of its contents in However, so I believe brand new these are about, it seems to all be in euros, but um, I believe they're about 6 99 I think that's correct, brand new. I may be wrong on that, I can't remember, but, you know, a fair bit, either way. And it should come with two packs of cards, some uh, special rare cards, and the folder. And I, from what I can feel, it's got the folder in and one pack of cards. And to be honest, for £2.50, I thought that was still worth it because the folder alone uh, is very helpful. And I believe the packs individually are £1.50. So you could look at the folder would be just a pound if the cards would be £1.50. So that is worth it to me because folders are so handy. And yeah, then you get in the pack of cards as well. So I thought it was worth it for £2.50. Let's undo it though because they possibly be one of the extra um, promo cards, or I don't know if they're promo cards, but you know, extra rare cards. Because they're a bit hard to fill for the wrapper, so... Or there is another possibility, what if the folder's filled with cards? Because obviously, clearly this is pre-owned because it's been opened, so you never know. Oh, we've got... that. Oh, that's the backing that goes in the folder, I think. I don't remember getting that last time, but perhaps I did. I'll have to look back, back on my collection. So what I'm going to do with this is the cards that I don't already have in my collection, I'm going to keep. And then the ones that I do, I'm going to sell. So a bit of both will be happening. Ah, so this is the collector's album. Maybe they'll bring out another um, Mario Kart trading card game series. You know, like um, another volume, some extra... An expansion is the word I was looking for, with some new cards at some point. So, so it is better than I thought. So yes, I'm definitely glad I've got it now because there is one pack of cards. But the reason why I couldn't fill the pack of cards, a second pack, is because it was inside the folder. It's fallen into the folder. So two packs of cards and the folder. That is definitely worth it. Two pound fifty. Um, just checking there's nothing else in there. No, just check the folder is completely empty. Yes, right, that's good. No, folders cost a few pounds. So that is worth it for that alone, to be honest, £2.50. And then we've got some cards, so we're going to open these. And of course, all these are waxy. If you know my channel, you'll know that I like a waxy wrapper. <laughs> Everyone has their own interests. I like Raxi wrappers. I just really like the trading cards that are in Raxi wrappers. Right. Let's see what we've got. 
and yeah remember of course every time we get these things from charity shops money's going to a good cause so that is a bonus of shopping in charity shops whether you're reselling or adding to your collection or buying essentials don't forget you are helping charity so that is very good right so all the cards are upside down even though that pack was completely sealed the cards are upside down i think that seems to happen a lot in manufacturing um i guess the way the machines place them can easily happen right so we've got we've got a lovely shiny i really like that so we've got waluigi and wario and it's got their tennis rackets so it's a mario tennis which still remains one of my favorite mario spin-off games it's it's a really good tennis game so right so that's nice they've all got that on the back by the way so oh actually no some of them have got something different on the back so we will look at the back on each one um donkey kong big fan of donkey kong that is a very hero hero i can't say a hero yeah whatever the word is um picture the pose is what i'm on about mario that's also a very good pose a very i'm sure of myself pose there a moustached king bomb -on. oh we have a nice bit of texture on this one a one-up mushroom we have another donkey kong this time not shiny there's quite a few here that i can see i haven't got in my collection so they will be added and as i say i'll sell the others that i have already got that's part of one of the big uh, pictures so you need to collect the other parts and then our second pack waxy 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 some is not in my mind now one of those words that i just like also right anyway enough about waxiness um this is a very nice gold hollow toad a very happy toad there oh that's a good shiny oh no what what's he got there he has got is that a golf is that a golf stick or is that a hockey stick that's a golf stick isn't it which is what i know about sports um answers in the comments whether that's a golf stick or hockey stick um no that must be surely a hockey stick i don't know because didn't they do mario hockey i've never played it they did but golf didn't they did now that, that is a great yoshi he is really enjoying himself there i don't know what he's doing like is he it looks like he's on the bouncing castle and a, a photo has been captured mid bounce and maybe that's what's going on the bouncy yoshi oh we've got an upside down peach hello upside down peach and that new peach game um is it showtime it's called they're trying to think what it's called uh for the uh switch um has been getting a lot of really good reviews and it looks good from what i've seen of it um i'm hoping to get a switch this year so um definitely give that a play Right, a shy guy. We like a bit of shy guy. Oh, we've got a min a mini mushroom. I was gonna say mint mushroom. I was gonna say it would be green if there's mint mushroom. And also that doesn't exist. Oh, we got Lemmy. And lastly, we have Baby Peach. Yeah, remember when they did all the baby characters? Was that first in um, Mario Kart Double Dash or did they exist before then? I think it's Mario Kart Double Dash where that started. But yeah, and there we go. So I hope you liked a little look at the uh, Mario cards and also the um, Smarties mug.